If you're starting a new coaching business, you may be wondering, how do I get people to trust what I have to say as a new coach? Maybe you haven't worked with a lot of people before and you are finding yourself comparing to other seasoned business coaches out there and that imposter syndrome is kicking in. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you why you already have what it takes to start sharing and creating value for others, even if you don't have a long list of clients or a recognized brand just yet. Hey, it's so good to see you and thank you for joining me today. I am Lydia Lee, for those of you who don't know me, and I help budding entrepreneurs to create their dream business without struggling with self-doubt, overwhelm, and complicated strategies. So if you want to build a business that's designed from a space that feels like you, your genius zone, which are your strengths, your values, and your personality, well, you are in the right place and you might want to hit that subscribe and notification bell button to tune in for videos just like this one. And another great training to really get started with is my signature training called How to Launch a Business You Love, where I walk you through my entire framework of what I've been teaching for the last seven years to know the right foundational steps to build your business in a way that is not complicated, is simple and doable, and structured in a way that you're not doing everything at once and knowing exactly the phases that it takes uh, to launch a successful and meaningful business. When you first start your coaching business, it can be really tempting to be looking at what other coaches coaches and coaching businesses are doing out there. What content are they producing? What kind of videos are they filming? Now, although that can be inspirational to help give you clues and a nudge to what are topics that, you know, you might be passionate to share as well, sometimes it might be a better idea to stay grounded in understanding and identifying what is authentic for you to share. So the first tip today is be authentic. And I know authentic is such a, a buzzword, right? But really to, to, to be layman's term about it, authenticity is really about sharing who you are, sharing your truth in a way that only you can. And that is when your own personality will start to shine. So that means stay in your lane and trust in what you have to say. The minute you start to think about looking at someone else's content and trying to duplicate it or doing it the same way they're doing it, that's when you are not going to feel very natural and your audience will notice. People are really looking for genuine people that they can get support from. And not everybody will be attracted to you. And that's totally okay. Just like we don't date everyone on the planet, we also don't work with everyone on the planet. There's some people that we get and get us and you know, that's what causes us to be a good fit, what I call soulmate clients. So the more you're yourself, the more you're actually going to attract better clients. But most importantly, you will deter <laughs> the wrong people that are not right for you, right? So being yourself is, is, a, is a great way to get clients, but also not to waste your time with people that you know, you may not be able to help or don't want the type of approach or philosophy that you really believe in. So stay in your lane and trusting what you have to say takes practice. And with practice comes, you know, acknowledgement and clarity into what it is that you love talking about, what you want your scope to, of work to be around, and what it is that you want to be known for when it comes to sharing your work. But you're not going to know all that right away. It's going to feel fuzzy. So I'm encouraging you to just find ways to share more consistently and share ways to just show or find ways to just show up consistently in your business. So start making notes about your concepts, your beliefs, your philosophy, what it is that you really want to teach your clients. And a good place to start here is what is what have you helped others on before when it comes to your business? Maybe you have done a bit of market research. Maybe you've talked to a friend and helped her through something that's really related to your business. Maybe you've had to think, you know, about the ideal customers you have and problems that they might be having that could absolutely be a topic for content. Well, now, one of the things that you might want to watch is a video about my content planning video that I'm going to put on the cards above. Uh, and you can start there with trying to identify the framework and what your work is all about in these topics and themes. So that's going to help you to create content a little bit faster, right? Uh, but the easiest way to really start sharing your, uh, sharing your business and being authentic and sharing your truth is to start with your story. 
Your story is something that is a no-brainer, right? It doesn't need any concepts. You're just simply telling a story, telling how you got to your business idea, telling what motivated you to start this work, telling the pain and struggle you felt before you found this work that's been so helpful for you and now you feel so meaningful to share. So starting with your story is an excellent way to start being real, sharing your truth, and start resonating with the audience out there that might be potential clients for you. To become a trusted and credible coach, we need to start talking to our customers so that we can be someone that's not just some a coach that sits on a pedestal and say, I'm your guru and I know it all, but taking the time to get on the ground and start to identify, be playing detective and sleuthing for what really is supportive for people to you know help with right we are here to serve as a coach you're here to serve people and to be of service to people and you can't think that out all on your own you have to be really collaborative in the way um, with your audience so that you are coming up with solutions and topics and um, sharing things most importantly things that are relevant to your audience. Sometimes certain topics feel relevant for us as a coach, but we always must turn the lens on the people that we really want to serve and not guess about what they want, but start asking about what they want. So being able to market research, talk to your clients is a really, really key component in understanding not only content to produce, to, you know, build your, your credibility and trust through content and marketing, right, of those materials, but it also helps you to build your offer. It helps you to build what sorts of things you have to navigate your clients through in order to get them to results. And you can't guess those things. You have to get it from the horse's mouth, as they say. So if you don't, haven't done market research, research or may not know how to do market research to get those answers and you find yourself guessing what you think your clients want to be, um, you know, uh, solving, then check out my video that I'm going to put on the cards above on how to market research, even if you don't have an audience yet, to really start getting to some of these answers. Okay. Lastly, stick to what you want to be known for. Okay. So when you see yourself starting to talk about what you ate for the day, you know, or a vacation you had just lately. I mean, those things are something you could incorporate into building credibility and sharing your story, but I want 80% of your sharing of your voice to be something really relatable to the urgent pain points your customers have. The more you start to do this, the more you really angle and target your content and your sharing of your voice towards these topics, the more you're going to plant the seed for the audience that you're needing to attract to know that you are credible, that you know what you're talking about, you understand what life looks like from their point of view, and therefore trust you to lead them through that journey as a coach. If you want to be building a community of ambassadors, clients, potential clients that might be hiring you in the near future, you need to start building their trust by showing up for them consistently. What's the most important thing to remember as a first-time coach is not to be everywhere on the internet. That is one of the biggest mistakes that people make because they do see, again, in the comparison game of other coaches out there that are seasoned business owners, they're just on every single platform. And so therefore you think and believe that in order for you to be successful, you too have to be on eight social media channels. Now that is just a recipe for burnout and stress and overwhelm. And I don't want you to be feeling this way because I want you to be getting good at your work and focusing your time on that work of being a coach rather than being a marketer. Okay. So how do we get you to show up consistently and start to share on one platform? Well, I kind of gave you a hint there. Pick one platform. <laughs> Don't choose eight platforms. Choose one that really resonates with your strengths, your personality, and how you really want to influence. Maybe it's a platform you're already hanging out in, so that's not going to, you know, be something that is a, beyond your comfort zone or, um, you know, somewhere that is not familiar territory for you where you have to learn the techie bits and that's going to create an obstacle for you to do that thing. You might want to choose a platform that you enjoy spending in, uh, spending your time in, and that might be the platform that you start. And But the most important thing is that the way that platform works, whether it's video or posts or blogging, you know, whatever it is that is that influence platform, make sure that it is something that is in your strengths that you don't mind showing up for and that uh, isn't go going to be against uh, your personality type or forcing you to do something that isn't just your right way to communicate. Okay. So that's a hugely important part. Secondly, uh, it's about committing to showing up to that platform 
often, right, and consistently. Now, when we build habits as a business owner, as humans in general, we it takes time for us to build habits. So the more that we simplify this, the more that we actually take on one tiny project, one initiative, and give that a real go and deepen that work for one, two, or three months, you're going to find more traction with doing that deep work in one area than trying to be on five or eight different platforms and have five, eight initiatives, right? So choose that platform, commit to it, and set a schedule, even if it's just once a week and you're consistent showing up for your audience once a week and they can expect that from you, then you're going to be trusted because that's the first promise is I'm going to show up this way for you to learn from me, to get to know me, for me to get help, for you to get help from a coach like me, right? Later on, when you can get consistent with actually showing up once a week, then you could double that ratio. You could say twice a week, right? Or maybe I show up and film a video on YouTube once a week, and then I show up on a live stream, or I post something on my Facebook or Instagram once a week. Whatever it is, it's not the frequency that matters. It is the consistency that really matters to your growth of your business. So keep it simple so that you will actually do it. I hope that video was helpful to you. And I would love to hear what is your best way to want to build trust and credibility with your coaching clients. Now, again, if you haven't worked with a client, that's okay. Because what you've got as an asset is your story, your resources, your knowledge, your know-how, your simple passion for the subject that you're immersed in. You know more than your clients ever will right now. So it's your job and your responsibility to share that. But I want to know, how would you like to share that information? What platforms, what approach would you like to influence your clients? And how would you want to show up for that consistently? And how can you commit to really doing that weekly um, without just only relying on doing it whenever you like? Okay, so as usual, I love your takeaways, your comments and feedback. So don't be afraid and hesitate to talk to me below this video. Uh, and I can't wait to hear from you soon.